Hello everybody, it's your girl, Milky White. Okay. Today's video is about some of the Korean must-have skincare products. I got all of these products when I was on vacation in Seoul, South Korea. If you happen to see these products at your local Korean skincare shop, definitely pick them up. If not, when you go to Seoul, make sure to get these. Up first are the BioPeel Plus gauze pads. These guys are little gauze pads that you put on your hand and one of them is kind of a rougher surface and you kind of use it in circular motions on your face and it's like a little exfoliating, uh, peeling treatment. I got the wine ones. I don't even know what that means, but... So these guys boast that they're kind of like a home peeling kit and you only use these maybe twice a week. I use them once a week every few weeks, uh, but they are quite nice. So I would definitely recommend getting these. I got these at Olive Young in Seoul. Up next are these adorable little products, Taco Pour Sebum Control Gel Cream. Taco meaning octopus in Japanese. And these are from Tony Moly in Seoul, which is a great store. I got a bunch of uh, cosmetics there as well. Honestly, I got these guys because of the adorable packaging, because I'm a big sucker. So I saw this little octopus and I obviously had to have it. This one is the sebum gel. And this is actually the, the better of the two products, I think. It's like a mattifying uh, gel you can put on, so you can do that before your makeup, and it almost works as a primer, or if you just kind of want to have a nice matte face, you can go out uh, like that as well. This little guy is the Taco Pore Blackhead Scrub Stick, so it's supposed to be good on blackheads, so you kind of open, open them up, and then you rub that in the blackhead areas. But I find this one is not as impressive. Again, I just got it because it was cute. So you can get this one if you have a problem with blackheads and give it a give it a whirl. It's basically like a little stick and it gets in there. It is good for exfoliating, but it's not like it worked wonders. So definitely the other product is the must have one. Moving on to something near and dear to my heart, sunscreen, because I'm so pale and I knew going to Korea that they had a ton of sunscreen products. And honestly, I've found nothing in North America that boasts sunscreen protection that doesn't make me feel oily or just kind of like thick. And this is the one that I use generally on a daily basis and it is the Misha Aqua Sun Gel SPF 50 plus all around safe block dermatology tested. It is so light, you don't even feel it. So like I'll put it on, it's like you could add moisturizer honestly on top of it and it would still be okay. So definitely A plus on this one. So also on the sunscreen train are these guys. This one is actually adorable. So these guys are sunscreen cushions. And what that means is when you have like a foundation powder in its little cushion or you open it up and you put it on your face, it's kind of like that, but for sunscreen to reapply your sunscreen during the day. And if you're super pale and pasty like me, these are awesome. This one I got from the face shop because it is so cute. Sucker for anything adorable and it's got cacao friends on it. It's got a peach. So I got that one. It says it's a baby mild sunscreen, but I don't know if you'd be buying baby sunscreen at the face shop. This one I think was from Olive Young. So up next, if you're into the Korean skincare and you do the whole step from A to Z where it's like a million different steps, you know that you use a serum. This one was a Keratina Anti-Aging Double Serum Light. There was a heavier one and a lighter one. I got this one at Club Clio. Clio? Celo? You know? As you can tell, I use this one on the regular. It kind of separates and then you shake it up and then you put it on your face and it's nice and light, especially if you're doing a bunch of uh, the steps for Korean skincare, it's nice to have something a little lighter so that when you go to bed, you're not like, oh, just covered in thick stuff on your face. A plus on this one, check it out. Up next are these blemish clear covers by Next Care. And I'm sure they have similar things in North America. I've never tried them out, but I saw these guys in both Korea and Japan and I wanted to try them out and they're pretty awesome. What I would do is at nighttime, if you kind of felt uh, blemish coming on. You can put it on the night before, leave it on your skin, and it kind of sucks up all the gross stuff from your skin. And I really like these. Definitely when I go back, I'm going to stock up and buy a lot more. And 
you can get these bigger packs at places like Olive Young in Korea or even Daiso for smaller packs. Next one I'm kind of torn on. It was definitely on a bunch of lists of you gotta try this when you go to Korea, get this. So I did and I'm actually wearing it today but I feel like I look very bronzed. You be the judge. So this is the Sika Pear. Sika Pear? Sika Pear? Seek a pair. Derma Green Solution by Dr. Jart. Is this guy even a real doctor? Honestly. Their products are in lots of different stores in Korea. You'll see them everywhere. This is one that came highly recommended. And like I said, today was the first day that I used it. And it says it has SPF 30 plus. Uh, rest and repair solution for sensitized skin, protects skins, protects skins, protects skin and covers blemishes. So the idea with this is that it's like a green paste and you put it on your face after toner and serum and you apply this before you put on your makeup. And when you put it on, it comes on green and then it changes to beige. The idea is it gets rid of the redness and then you can put your makeup on top of it. So I used it today for the first time and I feel like I look tanned. So I don't know if the beige matches everybody's skin tone. I don't look awful, but I definitely feel like very tanned, even though I put makeup on on top. Maybe if you guys have tried this, let me know what your experience is with it. I'll keep using it. Maybe I put too much on, but I mean, it's okay. It definitely was good as a base under my makeup, but yeah, I just kind of feel uncomfortable with it not being my regular skin tone. And now for just a dirty little humble brag from Tony Moly. Molly? Tony Molly? Tony Molly? I don't know. From the store that I got the little octopus guys from, um, I'll do a video later with cosmetics you can get because they have these killer little uh, lipsticks that you can get there. But how cute is this? They had a little Pokemon collaboration. So it's Pokemon by Tony Molly, and obviously I have to get it. So this one was a little Squirtle pouch. So cute! So it's got the little squirtle right there and it's just a nice little pouch. I mean this probably won't be available by the time you guys go but keep an eye out for little extras like this. I obviously could not go to Korea without going to the face shop because the face shop is a Korean store and they are available in Canada, the US, I'm sure across the world but when you go to the ones in Korea the prices are much better. So if you're like me and you have the routine of a million different Korean beauty products at night. If you want to stock up, uh, I got this one, which is the, oh God, I'm gonna butcher the name. The, the Yawadam anti-aging uh, serum, toners, creams, whatever came in here. Uh, there was a sale where there was a bunch of stuff for 50% off. So that was great because I use these guys anyways and to get them on sale. And also face masks, pick up a bunch when you're in Korea because again, they're cheaper than maybe at your local Korean store. So the last thing on my list, if you are a pale person that is prone to sunburns, get some uh, aloe vera. They definitely sell this stuff in North America as well, but this one is specifically kind of used as a moisturizer. Maybe you can use other ones like that as well, but you can put it on your face, body, whatever, and it doesn't have to be for when you're sunburned. You can just use it as a light moisturizer. So I just picked some up because why the heck not? And last but not least, clearly, you know, different day. I forgot to include this guy because I keep it in the bathroom because I use it all the time in my nighttime makeup removal routine. So another staple of Asian beauty care is cleansing oil. And I know it sounds kind of weird putting oil on your face, but it does a great job at removing makeup and it doesn't clog your pores. This one specifically is from the face shop. So should be available in North America, I hope. I got mine in Korea. It's the Real Blend Rich Cleansing Oil. And it even has flowers in it, because why the heck not? And that sums up my must-have Korean beauty care products that I got when I was in Seoul. If you guys have any recommendations of stuff that I missed, stuff that you love, let me know. I'm always on the hunt for that kind of stuff. I'm quite happy with what I got and it's gonna last me a while and so I better be young and beautiful forever otherwise I wasted all my money. Okay see ya bye!